Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. It's finally happened, Google's had their hardware event here on October 9th, and I'm ready to tell you what that's all about. Let's get going. All right, now let's get the easy stuff out of the way. There is no update to the Google Home, no update to the Google Home Mini, the Max, any of those devices, but what we do have is a brand new smart display from Google called the Google Home Hub. Now, this is the Lenovo smart display, it's not actually the Google Home Hub, but what the Google Home Hub is, is essentially a tablet sitting on a speaker and it still has the same colors that we're seeing from Google. I know this one's slightly modified, but the the charcoal, the chalk, the sand, and the new kind of mint color there that they have, those are the colors you can get. And that's basically the stand. And then the tablet itself is essentially sitting at a 20 or 30 degree angle here. Now, what else we know about the Google Home Hub? When is it coming out? October 22nd is the date it will ship, but pre-orders are available right now in the United States. The pre-order price is $149. US and that's what you'll get as a full cost. What Google focused on a lot at the event today was essentially all of the redesigning of the applications that they've been doing here over time. So a redesigned Google Home application that is launching here and we've seen the little bits and pieces of that coming out. The, all the material theme design is being delivered basically as part of this. I did see an improvement in terms of the smart home control, there was basically a top navigation pane. It looked like you could pull it down and then you could basically control your home, go to light switches, different things like that. So there did seem to be some improvement there. Otherwise, the interface itself looked a lot like the Lenovo smart display. Now the next big thing has to be the Pixel 3 and for most people, this is a flagship product for Google and I think it has the biggest home automation impact and has for a long time. The reason I say that is twofold. So basically the first thing is the Pixel Stand. Now this is a $79 US adder. It basically allows you to use it like a smart display. and. So, you know, we've been expecting this feature from Google for a while, but the Pixel 3 stand is now there. Now, on top of that, what we've also seen is finally the dropping of Google Duplex. Now, we've all been waiting for this for a long, long time. Finally, Google has said within the next month, you will be able to get it in select cities in the US. So they're actually rolling out city by city initially to really test out the Google Duplex. Now with Google Duplex comes a screening feature on the Pixel 3 and this is the other piece of it that was fantastic. It will actually allow you to screen your calls, ask who's calling and the Google Assistant will sit there and transcribe the conversation going on. There wasn't a lot more detail there for us to really glean from this, but the fact that you can screen the call with Google Assistant and place calls with Google Assistant is pretty incredible stuff when it comes to automating your life. So the Pixel 3 itself is a 5.5 inch display. It is. Uh, it has a 6.3 inch Pixel 3 XL companion that you can buy as well. It starts at 799 US and that will give you the Pixel 3 basically. On top of that, the pre-orders are available now and it will start shipping on October 18th. So that device is out there and ready to go basically right away. Some of the features that I saw with the Pixel 3 is basically the camera features were incredible and I'm not someone who cares about camera features very much but the night sight was amazing when you saw the differential between an iPhone and the Pixel 3. The ability to digitally zoom essentially through multiple picture shots uh, was also a fantastic capability. Now one last thing to talk about with the Pixel 3, when you turn it over and actually face it down, it is basically going into a shush mode 
and it will not send you notifications or make any noises. Basically, once you put it face down, it knows and will not disturb you. Now on top of this, there was a new Chromecast that was launched. We knew that was coming. The big difference there is the low power Bluetooth mode that we heard about long, a long time ago basically here on the channel. Um, other than that, the Pixel Slate looks very interesting with Chrome OS, but isn't something that I'm going to talk to you about today here on Automate Your Life. So there you have it, everyone. Those are the big automation updates, I think, here for us. And I want to hear what you guys think about this. This is obviously a big differential from what Amazon put out just a few weeks ago. But Google has gone out and really moved the needle forward as far as I'm concerned in terms of automating your life. So there you have it, everyone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.